Hi, I'm Dave from boyinaband.com. A couple of you guys were asking to see what gear I used in my studio, so I figured I'd put together a quick tour of my home studio. Let's go! Alright guys, here's the central hub of my studio where the vast majority of stuff is kept. Down the bottom here you can see the computer that powers it all. It's 16 core, um, it's got two, two terabyte graphics cards in there. Um, I'm completely lying, I, I'm not really a hardware person, it was just a really good computer at the time, reasonable price. Back up top, here we've got my sound card, Focusrite Sapphire Pro, I don't know if you can read that, the camera's deciding to be very blurry. That's got 8 inputs, 8 outputs, which is really good because I like to mic up my band when we practice, so we can hear ourselves back and improve. See you in army, check us out, bell plug, and if we look scarily down the back here with all the wires, you can see it's messy and authentically studio-like, despite the deceptive exterior. Got the two inputs there so I can record the output of my computer it's for the tutorials. Over here we've got the Axe FX, which is my pride and joy when it comes to guitar stuff, because Yumo Army records a lot of really heavy guitars, so this is ideal for that kind of thing. And below it is a compressor that I never use. I always use uh, VST compressors. I find they're a lot easier to control. So this rack just kind of... It would look lonely if it was just the Axe FX, so I keep it out. It has a friend. Down here we've got a suitably geeky book so that I can read while the computer is loading. I'm not even joking. And over here we've got a DI box, which I plug the guitar and bass signals into. And that goes in here and then out as a, it basically acts as a splitter, it out, goes out there so I can record the DI as well as the uh, Axe FX signal simultaneously, saves reamping later. And that way if I ever want to redo the guitar with a different amp setting I can just reamp it with the Axe FX. That's why I've got two leads quite messily here. This one is for reamping and this one is directly in from here. I've got my big TV which I nicked from my room. Hello there, uh, Kieran. Hi. I'm just recording my video. Hi. This is my roommate, Kieran. Hey, what's up? He's what I use for singing. There's not a plug-in for that yet, so he has to do. As soon as there is, I'm gone. <laughs> Damn right. Over here, we've got my mic on this really useful stand. I saw Rusko had one of these on one of his videos on YouTube and just had to get one. It's so useful. And that's a Rode NT1A mic, condenser mic. It's quite cheap and it's really good for vocals for the price, so I've used it considerably. I've got a solar powered lamp that I think I used once after charging it for a day and it lasted a minute. Here are my monitors, which are Genelec 8020A monitors, and again I really don't know very much about monitors, I'm more of a software guy than a hardware guy. A mastering engineer friend of mine suggested that I get these and now I've got really used to how they sound. So, as a lot of producers have said to me, and you'll probably find for yourself, it's more what you're used to than what is the best speaker. Um, I've got a really obscure mouse which is supposed to improve your wrist posture, but I think it's more just to annoy my friends when they come around because they can't seem to use the computer. I've got a reasonably OCD looking desktop there. And let's take another look around. Kieran, you're still here. I'm just eating olives in the corner. That's what I do. Okay, we've got my mixer, which I use for live practicing with Yuma Army and my makeshift PA. We've got all my microphones down here. Let's take a look at that. Can you hold this for a sec, Kieran? Sure. Okay, here we've got the mics. SM58, which is good for vocals um, in a live situation. SM57, which is good for micing up guitar cabs. Point it there, Kieran. Yes, <laughs> and, and back. Mm. Very good. You get in this camera back there. <laughs> a uh, Shaw Beta Beta 52A, however you pronounce it, which is good for bass drums and bass cabs. Try it again, Gary. <laughs> well done. Oh. Yeah, that's a pan. Got, I've got a couple of these, which are Samsung CO2. Huh? Carbon uh, dioxide. Uh, yes, well carbon done. Dioxide? Yes, it's carbon dioxide, <laughs> which is good for overhead miking on drums. Um, I don't tend to use these mics very much anymore. Um, I used to use them for miking up a drum kit, which was very loud. So um, I ended up using a Superior Drummer 2 instead. 2. <laughs> Just <laughs> flipped around. off your audience. Shut up! I ended up using Superior Drummer 2 instead, which is a really good drum sampler software. So um, I've got a few of the SM57s in there, which I used. I did them on the toms and the snare. So that's the mics. Let's move on, shall we? How about the piano? The 
which I don't think I've ever actually mic'd up most of the piano, I just use a soft synth, which is really lazy of me. Very battered drumsticks from a drummer who doesn't take his stuff home. <laughs> I got a hat from Reason. Yeah. Yeah. I also have a poster from Reason. They gave me loads of stuff. Yeah, they're good guys. You know why? Because I'm dead from boy in bed. And I come over here. Come on. Come on, Kieran. Come on. Over here we've got an Ovation MIDI keyboard, which Kieran and I will be doing a series on how to make a beginner's studio. So we're going to look into that, and a Sapphire Pro Focusrite 6 USB. Both of those are really cool for beginner stuff, and I'll discuss more of them in that series when we finish making it. Um, Most important part of any studio, you need to have a bottle of water on your desk at all times. We have a very dirty coffee mug that's magically appeared since we started filming. For all the haters that say I haven't got a girlfriend there, she is looking really happy. There's a single lone earplug. I've got some decent headphones here, they cost me quite a bit. I think it was like £150, but they have some really good bass response. They're Bayer Dynamic DT150 headphones, which are, yeah, really, really good. And it's good to have a good pair of headphones with a reasonable bass response if you're going to be making dubstep. I've got a nice little USB MIDI keyboard. Just a two octave spread. I've never really needed much more than that. You're gonna play us a song, Kieran. What song? Your favourite song. Play us some some dubstep on guitar. <laughs> this is me mixing this video. How meta <laughs> is that? Up here, we've got my various different pieces of software and a bit of hardware. I'll show you the live setup I've got for you, Mortami, if you're interested, just leave a comment or something. Now you may be thinking, that's an imposing bookcase, why would you have that there? Well, green screen, bookcase. You can make that into a gift. <laughs> there it is. Hope you enjoyed the tour, and have a nice day.